আসসালামু আলাইকুম সবাইকে আমাদের এই পর্বের যেখানে আমরা আসলে অনেকজন গুণী মানুষের সাথে কথা বলে থাকি সে পর্বের আরেকটি পর্বেতে তোমাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আজকে আমাদের সাথে একজন বিশেষ গেস্ট যুক্ত আছে এবং তার সাথে আমরা কথা বলবো প্রথমতেই আমরা তার থেকে তার পরিচয়টা জেনে নিই সো প্রমোদ হাউ ইউ অ্যান্ড গিভ আ সিম্পল ইন্ট্রোডাকশন টু মাই অডিয়েন্স থ্যাংক ইউ মাথিক দিস ইজ মি প্রমোদ প্রমোদ সরণ গৌতম Uh, I am a student in Bangladesh Agriculture University. I am actually from Nepal and I have uh, I came here uh, one year before like on the 25th February 2023. So, so it's, been, it's been a year here in the university. I'm currently studying in Faculty of Veterinary Science uh, and the degree will be Vivian. Oh, uh, and you are my classmate also. Yeah. The main point is we are classmates. <laughs> yeah, okay. So <laughs> There we will have some formal questions, some informal questions. First of all, why you have chosen BAU or Bangladesh Agricultural University? There are a lot of universities in the world. So why you have chosen, being an international student, why you have chosen BAU? Like, first of all, I have to be clear that uh, I did want to try uh, to pursue this degree in Nepal as well. Okay. Like, there is not a degree DVM, it's, it's a degree BVSC and AH. It will be, it's, it's combined degree of animal husbandry as well. Uh, I did try to get that, but uh, in Nepal, there are only two public universities. Okay. The main thing is only two universities and the competition is like too tough. I did try like two times. Mm, I didn't get the opportunity. And after that, I look for the alternative. Mm, alternative way. I did search like everywhere, like India, Bangladesh, all over the Asia, uh, maybe all over the world as well. Okay. <laughs> all over the world as well, to be true. Uh, but like the distance Bangladesh and Nepal have, it's like too close. We are in the South Asian countries. So we are the member of SARC as well. Yeah. We have a good relation, like for political, geographical, everything. Good relation with Bangladesh. Uh, and after knowing about the Bangladesh Agriculture University from the internet, like I was like too amazed. Okay. Like this kind of university is too close to us. Yeah. And no one is like getting the information about that in our country. I was like too shocked and after that I did some more research. I did some more research and I get to know that some of the professors who are teaching in Nepal in the public university, like there's a university, Tribhuvan University, it's the first university of Nepal. And one of the associate professor was recently uh, passed out, like pa passed MSc from Bangladesh Edwards University, physiology and, under, yeah. under Ilias sir. Oh, yes, sir, and he got gold medal. Okay, so and he is teaching at Nepal. Yeah, right he's now. teaching in Nepal. He is a student of BAU, BAU and a teacher of Nepal. Of Nepal, Nepalese University. Oh, okay. And in the other universities as well, Agriculture and Forestry University, uh, there are so many professors who have graduated from this university. Okay. So, like, and the like, Bangladesh Agriculture University has been, has been ranked like second in the Asia as well. Yeah. In the in the some last years, maybe it's changing. It's it's changing its ranking. But in the past, like it was, I when I when I was like researching about this university, it was second in rank. Okay. So I was like, wow, if I can get the why person, not exactly. Yeah, like, why? I am looking for a degree, and I am getting a number rank two college. Why shouldn't I approach? Okay. So it was like a nice journey when you ever heard about yeah. BAU. So how Bangladesh seems to you? Uh, to be honest, <laughs> okay. I should be honest. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of audience from Bangladesh. Okay, yeah, you yeah. should be. Yeah, I should, I should okay. be honest as well. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be too harsh. Like, <laughs> okay. it, it wasn't too harsh. Like, the environment is quite similar in, in, in the Nepal, Nepal and Bangladesh. Okay. The lower level, lower level of Nepal. Okay. But I came, I come from the hilly region, uh -huh. hilly background. Yeah. So it's quite a uh, warmer oh. for me to adapt. But uh, I'm okay with the environment and everything. The main problem here in Bangladesh for me, particularly for me, yeah. is like the fooding and food habit. Food habit. Is it a bit spicy? Yeah, kind of too spicy and it includes like uh, meat everywhere. Okay. Meat, and, okay. meat okay. and fish as I'm a yeah. vegetarian. Oh, so, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but I'm a pure non-veg person, <laughs> yeah, so it is very okay for me. And yeah. like in Bangladesh, people are very used to it spices. spices okay. okay, like why 
students should choose BAU? Like in international mm -hmm. perspective, in national perspective, why BAU is the best choice for the students? Like, uh, if you think about why to choose BAU, I find so many reasons. Okay. Like as a, as a, as a foreign student, like I will suggest to my Nepalese students as well. Like, you are looking for a good degree. Yeah. You will get an international degree. Okay. Uh, you'll, you want to do any research. You want to do like, you want to do anything about researching and something about experiments and everything. I think uh, Bangladesh Agriculture University has way too more like areas to explore. Okay. On, on, on the field of research and everything. And as we are studying agriculture, agriculture, so we have to be familiar with every aspect. And the area we you have, like 1200 acres, right? 1261. 61 acres. Like, it's a huge area. Yeah. Like, if we walk or start walking, it will take hours to like explore even in BAU. So it's a very quiet environment, handy environment, mm, research level very nice, degree will be the best and you will be globally recognized after getting this degree from this university. Okay, like a lot of our professors used to say that if you are a graduate of BAU, you are a graduate from the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone was like, you are a graduate from BAU, mm. so that means you have some qualities, qualities that you are passed out from the BAU. Okay, you speak Bangla? Alpo, alpo. Okay. <laughs> Whatever um, Okay, but uh, how are your Bangladeshi friends? Are they very friendly or something else? Just look at yourself, man. Okay, <laughs> okay, too okay, friendly. okay, okay. You're too friendly. It was the same as answer. Okay. No, 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 I have fine... Uh, I don't find anything bad in like about people in Bangladesh. Okay. Like whenever I go outside for the class and educational purpose and in the universities though every every student will be helpful. Even if I go outside as well, around the my area and yeah. everywhere. Uh, if they find out that I'm a foreigner or I don't understand Bangla, they will they will try their maximum like efforts to make you feel comfort in their yeah. zone. It is true. But uh, when I was a student, I was like looking for a university where I can have international friends because in my belief an university is an universe you yeah. have a lot of choice if you want to be a good person you have the perspective if you want to be a bad person you also have some pathways so uh, when I was a student it was a dream to me to have an international friends like you so how does it feels to you when like you are in Bangladesh and you have international friends from Nepal, Malaysia and Bangladesh as well. So how does it feel to you to have like friends like us? Like to be true, when I first left my country, I was like, what to do now? Yeah. Like I was living in my comfort, comfort zone because like since childhood, I haven't left my home since childhood and suddenly I'm leaving whole country to get a degree and it will be a five year journey. So mm. it will be hard. But when I came here, I met with a Nepalese friend. Like, we were not connected back in Nepal. Everyone okay. is new to me. Even the Nepalese, even the Malaysians, everyone are new to, new to us. So at first I thought it was, it will be like hard. But when I get the environment, you look at like every Bengali uh, did try their maximum to make us feel like a home. Home, yeah. They did make us feel so comfortable. Like I can make a joke with you. I can yeah. I can just have a tea and have a laugh with you. They will feel like a, you're like a, you're like a friend we, since my childhood. Like oh, so yeah, yeah. They, they won't make us feel anything bad. Even the Malaysians, like even the Malaysian guys and girls, they are like so friendly. They are too frank. Uh, I feel like a home to be true. Okay, so I mean, today, our dosha ke rudde se kono kotha bolte chahi. Asole. I am going to go to the university. The university is a university. So, how much do you think about the university? So, how much do you think about the You can get like, from research perspective or researching aspect. In this university? Yeah, in this university. Yeah, like, no. I haven't got any opportunity to be true. That's, it's, that's, it's, you're, you're first, starting. It's, you're it's just the first level. It's, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm only in the first level. But if, he, if I look back the pattern like our seniors uh, did, our seniors did great in research. 
like uh, one of our senior who has already passed out in uh, two, two, three years ago. Okay. Uh, he has maybe more than 50 or 60 uh, research papers. Okay. 50 or 60 research papers. Uh, citations, citations and oh. yeah, from this university. Holy. And, and he's in America right now. Right now in America. Yeah, in, in America yeah a right lot, lot of our seniors also, but you know, 50 to 60 research papers, yeah. it's not a matter of joke. Exactly. It's, it's the effort. Yeah. Like, it's not only the... Like, like you are giving effort, you are but giving you effort, don't have the opportunity. opportunity. And university is giving you the opportunity, opportunity to make that effort look great. Once APJ Abdul Kalam said that we don't, ha we may don't have equal talent, but if we have equal opportunity, we can uh, bloom our talent. Yeah. So, so, I mean, you took to the space. Obviously, okay. it, it, it will give you the too much space if you are interested. Okay. If you want to do something, university will give you the space. So, like, like you are passing from the uh, university, you get back to your home. Like, how people will respect you, and what is your opportunity when you have finished your graduation? To when you get back there. Expectation are already high for my family. Like okay. I'm getting a degree. I'll be a doctor. I'll be a doctor. Yeah. I'll be a doctor in five years. I'll get a degree. I can put doctor in front of my name. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not a, <laughs> it's a flex. Yeah, yeah. It's not a. It's not a like easy job. Yeah. You have to. You have to like spend a whole five years journey to be that far, and it's already. It's already, already a reputation that he has already been to such university. Yeah. Like, yeah. Already have some more expectation from the family and from the relatives and everywhere. And after getting back to university or from this particular university, no one has been like treated bad. Oh. From the PAU, every product was back in Nepal. So the past is good. Yeah, past is too good. Like, yeah. And we have we have the responsibility now to like respect that hmm. past and make it even better. Even better, yeah. So Nepal has a good reputation from this university. Okay. So we'll try to do a, a few days ago in the care market of our university. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I was talking, and a, a guy come from the back. back. He is doing his PhD from here oh. in animal science. Animal science. Can you remember? Senior. Uh, yeah, uh, he is doing his PhD, and he is a scientist. Oh. And as far as I know, he is a very like respected person in Nepal. In Nepal. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I. Okay. I, I couldn't forget I couldn't forget that, that person. He's like a brother, he's like mm. a elder guardian to us. Uh, he's Mr. Dr. Imraj Dakhal. Okay. Uh, he's a senior scientist now in Nepal. Uh, Nepal agriculture. But he is doing his PhD from here. Yeah, he has already completed his uh, PhD. Like he did uh, he was in a government's uh, job for a very long time. Mm. Uh, he couldn't like uh, complete his uh, PhD. But he did now he, 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 he got the time. Okay, so, so do you have any advice for my students? What to say, like, if you want to try to do in this particular field, agricultural field, like there are so many universities in Bangladesh as well. Yeah. As, as far as, in, as I know, there are so many universities in the bang, Bangladesh, but I will consider a BAU, you should, you must use BAU. Like okay. it will give you the proper space, proper lifestyle. You will, you will feel the like the hostel environment, student life. Uh, like you have to. University is not just for the study. It's like the, it's like like teaching or learning some social skills, how to adapt to the new environment, how to survive in harsh condition. It will, it will teach you everything. BAU will teach you everything. Like as I have left my comfort zone and I have lived in a such place like I think now You've I got can, another comfort zone here. Yeah. yeah, I have already like I have I'm I have shifted my comfort zone to another level now. Okay. Like I, like uh, now I have the feeling like I have survived this kind of environment, this kind of people. Like I can adjust with any person now. Hmm. Like I don't know the language, hmm. but still I'm like too frank with them. That means I can I can I can survive anywhere in the world. Oh. So you should you must choose be you. You must live here. Okay. So तुमने शायद शुरू दे बात तो सो जे प्रमोद भैया आश्चर्य की बोलते जाते हैं। भैया। या भैया। Okay. So आमी 
অবশ্য আমরা যখন পড়ালেখা করছি আমরা একসাথে যখন পড়ালেখা করছি সে হচ্ছে নেপাল থেকে আসছে এই বাংলাদেশ থেকে আমাদের আরও ফ্রেন্ডস আছে অন্যান্য দেশ থেকে বাট আমি যে জিনিসটা এখানে পাচ্ছি যে আমি একটা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল এনভায়রনমেন্ট পাচ্ছি এটা বাংলাদেশের অন্য ইউনিভার্সিটিতে আমি পাবো কি না আমি জানি না অ্যান্ড যখন সে দেশের বাইরে যাচ্ছে তখন তার জন্য একটা দরজা খুলে যাচ্ছে নতুন করে যে মানে সে অন্য রকম ধরনের একটা রেসপেক্ট পাচ্ছে সো তুমি যদি তোমার সিদ্ধান্ত হয়ে থাকে যে তুমি রিসার্চ করতে যাও আইদার তুমি বিসিএসের জন্য প্রিপারেশন নাও আইদার তুমি টিচার হতে চাও আইদার সব কিছুই তুমি করতে চাও তাহলে তোমার জন্য বিএইউ উইল বি আ গুড অপশন সো থ্যাংক ইউ প্রমোদ টু বি আ গেস্ট অফ আওয়ার শো and yeah. to be a mentor of our students yeah, i should i should thank you like for giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf of a nepali student okay and uh, is a good friend yeah <laughs> uh, i should thank him a lot like he's been so great uh, you, like he should get the praise like even is 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 separating his time from the study it's not a easy degree to get like yeah. if uh, like if you don't study you won't get a degree Oh. like you have to give time to this degree and he's doing great like uh, besides study he's doing his own thing and he's doing great on this so thank you so much okay. Mark thank you for and your thank you mission for this good opportunity okay. i love the setup i love the environment thank you okay assalamu alaikum